That pyramid head was a fucking scary bad guy, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys. Let's go. Next episode of the Florencio Files. Up here in the top right-hand side, his next victim, it is Gene Paul. <clears throat> Down here in the bottom left-hand side, playing on a, an, an account with his own name. <laughs> in Clan DT Okes. D D Tokes? Oh, Dank Tokes. Oh, I saw DT capitalized and immediately thought Dark Templar, and it ruined my brain. D Dank Tokes? Uh, it is Florencio. I imagine that's what it's meant to be anyway. So, uh, <laughs> we've got a, a pylon and a forge. Very uh, unique tech choice, not what we were expecting at all from Florencio. Now, this is against Terran. <laughs> Terran have marines and bunkers and stuff, which are pretty good at wrecking cannon rushes. They also have reapers, which can counterattack and kill all your probes uh, by jumping in your main. But Florencio's like, nah, that's fine. Not even. Oh, he's not even going to try and break the barracks. He's just going to do a secret rush. Is he? Is he? This probe's just going to have a smoke. He's a little bit overweight, this probe. Whew, he needs a breather after running all the way across Eastwatch. That's like a marathon for a little probe, man. Here we go. Okay, okay. He's going to do the very uh, kind of safe out of vision cannon rush. Probe is now going to come in. He's timed out. He's like, yeah, this is just a normal probe scout, buddy. Just here to look in your base, see what's going on. Uh, Jean Paul apparently has never watched the Florencio files. He's like, oh, you're trying to gas steal me. I'm going to block that. Ha ha. I blocked you. I sure am defending your rush real good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like, yeah, I think I shut this down pretty well. SCV's gone out. Has actually spotted the pylon, but I don't know if he's realized just yet. He's pulling two SCVs, one for each cannon. Not sure if that's enough units. Uh, and Florencio's like, hey, let's build a pylon on the high ground, two cannons on the low ground. And uh, how about we feed you a nice tall glass of get fucked. Uh, seems a little bit like, I think Gene falls in trouble, guys. The bunker will finish, right? He's got to get that bunker up. Oh, man, this pylon. Those cannons are about to finish. Oh, and here comes hell and justice. The fury of the Protoss launching its way into this map. The Marine does get out of there. The Marine gets out of there. This pylon, though. Oh, man. Even though it finishes, all the SCVs are dying, dude. Only one Marine in the bunker. Oh. Oh, Florencio actually screwed up. He cancelled that pylon there. Okay, he's trying to get his probe forward to get spotting vision. Oh, maybe spot, maybe pop the Marine out. you got to get rid of that probe, dude. Oh, the bunker's going to fall. No, Gene Paul. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what is... Oh, Gene Paul's panicking. Oh, we're in pan Here we go. Finally, the Marine gets rid of the high ground vision. Good job, Gene Paul. But there's Zealots on the way now. And there's a Cybercore back at home. Oh, shit. I think Florencio is in a pretty good position now. 22 probes versus 15 SCVs. The orbital has finished, so there are mules mining. But, uh, oh, man, that Marine's got to get forward, dude. That Marine's got to move forward a step to get rid of this fucking probe, dude. Gene Paul's Marine is just sitting there watching the SCVs and the depot get hammered. Finally moves Oh, look at this. Florencio is just finding the edge. And now Zealot's gonna run in and just kill them. Oh my god, Florencio, you mean bastard. He's gonna take out one Marine. He's gonna kill the SCV as well. And then that Zealot's just gonna run on out of there. Uh, is he gonna look to the high ground again? He's gonna do it, isn't he? He's gonna find the high ground. No, oh, he's getting shot. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, yeah, this side of the ramp. He finds the high ground vision. Oh my, oh, it's gonna get that SCV as well. Why would you build your factory there? Oh my god, Noman Crowd, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Uh, no micro win, I mean. Oh, thank you so much, dude. That's amazing. Uh, we've got a shield battery, we've got more cannons, and of course, a proxy nexus, because Florencio doesn't... He doesn't He doesn't just finish games with DTs, nah. -uh. Hey, <laughs> this shield battery's here to heal the zealot. Oh, just give up on this factory position, dude. This is such a waste of money. Oh, Gene Paul is getting so hammered by these cannons, dude. Oh, another SCV goes down. We're up to 11 workers killed. <laughs> this is such a fucking mess. Gene Paul is falling apart at the seams right now. He's like, how the shit do I deal with this? Oh my god, he's going to lose a marine. The zealot survives. This adept's like, hey, guess what? I can spot the high ground with my shade now. Oh my god, Florencio. This is so funny. This is this is the saddest way to die. This is this is a tragedy. This is a Greek tragedy right here, guys. Look, another marine goes down. This adept just like throws her laser laser frisbee. The marine tries to catch it, realizes it actually chopped his arm off. Oh my god, the adept's just killing them all. This is this is so sad. But Gene, he's gonna build an e. But why are we blocking? Why is Gene Paul? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Oh my god, Gene Paul, stop sinking money into this, buddy. Oh my god, why? What is this meant to achieve? I don't understand. Oh my god. Oh, this is so... Oh my god. This is... Yeah. It's it's amazing, because with Florencio, you really do get the full gamut of, 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 of play, right? He plays against players like uh, Neuro. Players like Avilo. Solid GM players. Well, maybe not so solid in the case of Avilo. But, you know, he's in GM. Neuro's a solid GM. And yet, he will play against players... <laughs> Who think the counter to cannons is to build engineering bays next to them? Uh, I'm sorry, Gene Paul. We've all panicked in this scenario, but this is just being a train wreck to watch, my dude. And uh, oh my god, the probe comes up, gives vision. These marines just get dicked. Yeah. Oh, okay, that that probe did go down finally. There we go. Uh, meanwhile, fully saturated natural, and of course, two stargates and a fleet beacon. So Florencio is like, what's the absolute slowest way I could finish this game off? Now, keep in mind, guys, we've seen Florencio almost throw games from being like, it triple the position of the opponent. The amount of uh, skillful micro, I think is what we call it, skillful micro from Florencio is, it's, it's beyond what you'd normally expect from a Masters player. Um, his ability to walk units into corrosive bile, that sort of thing, is incredible. Um, that Odyssey game, I think it was like episode number two of the Florencio Files, never seen anyone lose so many Immortals and Void Rays to the same three Ravages casting Corrosive Bile. But you know what? Florencio is capable of that. And it seems like his choice here is going to be double Tempest production from the third base of his opponent. Okay, so full at maximum siege mode engaged. Gonna just siege him down from the skies. Gonna see the equivalent of that StarCraft video where they have the Tempest just like shoots the giant frig off ball from another planet, hits the marine, the marine kind of gets tickled and is like, oh, that didn't hurt, and then just chases off the Tempest. In this case, though, we have eight unupgraded marines and no economy. So I feel like even Tempests will get the job done here. Even Tempests. They got the cool skin as well. I do, I do love this Tempest skin. Looks sexy. Gets me a little bit excited. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what Florencio's entire StarCraft experience is like. Isn't it? Isn't it just incredible? You know, there's so many people out there who think they know what playing StarCraft is like on the ladder. And then there's, you know, something like this just totally changes your perspective. It, it really does. You're like, is this what ladder games look like? To be fair, Gene Paul is probably frothing at the mouth right now. Like, Fucking Protoss is just kind of shouting at his computer, yelling a little bit. <laughs> Florence is like, I need a third base at your fourth base. Uh, he's going to do that. So he's going to wait for four Tempests before moving out. And his massing shield battery is here. I mean, come on, Florence. You can just go kill him. <laughs> and he's going to build shield batteries. <laughs> I don't know if it's him indulging his trollishness, his lack of actual game sense, and realizing that he's infinitely ahead, or, or what. But, but Florencio really does sometimes drag a game out a little bit, doesn't he? Uh, we're just gonna, we, I think we're just gonna hang with chat for the next minute or two while we watch this absolute filth uh, close this game out. I, I need to add this one to my book of filth, actually. Cannon Terran's Natural into Proxy Tempests. Seems like a winning strategy. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what up, Zeit? Zeitzal. Oh, I know you're a big Florencio fan, my friend. You're a big Florencio fan. Much love hanging out, dude. Yeah, this is a great Tempest skin. I actually love it. I love it. Yeah, this is this is actually Master League. Master League, my, my, my friends. So, um, okay. So, so let's look at this from the Terran's point of view, guys. So he's like, all right, let's get some scouting on. Uh, a couple stalkers. Ah, oh, you know, maybe maybe that's his only follow-up. Oh, look, there's no there's no third base. Uh, let's go drop his natural. Um, What? What? <laughs> He doesn't have an expansion. Ah, he must have the gold. So he's going to go drop the gold, and then he says, actually, there's nothing here. Why don't I just kill this pylon? Florencio, as always, zero defense in the main base, because any excuse to recall his probes. Um, and, I mean, he's already done it. I think he already recalled his probes over here, right? Yeah, he already recalled his probes. His main's empty. <laughs> Random cannon over here does take out a scouting marine. Uh, Jean Paul still on one base. 
This is the sort of game that makes you never want to play StarCraft again, but Gene Ball's gonna play it out. Tempest coming forward, Florencio's like, oh shit, I better stutter step my Tempest. Look at him, he's like actively microing them and everything. This is amazing. He's like, oh, all right, gotta get my focus fire on. <laughs> Gene Paul's going to run away. Somehow, still trying to play this game out. I mean, I'm not sure if Gene Paul has the best mindset. He's like, oh, I'll just play it out and see if I can uh, maybe find an edge somewhere. Or if he's actually banging his head on the keyboard right now going, fuck you, fuck Brogoss. I'm gonna go with the second option. I'm 90% I'm sure he's headbutting his keyboard at this stage going, this game is unfair. This game is unfair. <laughs> um, poor Gene Paul, dude. I actually feel sorry. I feel a little bit like I'm um, one of those YouTubers who's like, oh, I'm just gonna review videos of dead bodies or some shit like that. It's like, oh, look, here's a video of a beheading. Ha, ah, I'm gonna review it. It's like, no one wants to watch that. But I feel like, Florencio, you went too brutal. You know, normally it's all fun and games, you're beating some guys up. It's a lot like a wrestling match normally. You're jumping off the ropes, knocking them over, you pick up a chair, smack them over. I feel like this game has gone from that to you're slowly decapitating the guy with a chair. You're like, you're like chipping away at his neck. And, and it's, there's just, there's blood starting to spurt. It's clearly not fake anymore. And, and the audience is just kind of sitting in stunned silence going, Is this... Is this a real ladder game? Is this... Did this... I don't know if this is fucking right to be watching this. Everybody's like, this is fucked. This is actually uncomfortable to watch. And Florencio, look at this, he stops. The, the head's connected by a tiny little fucking string. There's like a sinew connecting the head to the torso. He stops chipping away at it. He says, ha, huh. now he's walking around the ring and he's like holding the chair. He's licking the blood off the chair. That's what this cannon is. That's the equivalent of licking the blood off the chair. He's reveling in it. He thinks everyone thinks he's fucking badass. I, I don't think he realizes, oh my god, this is sick. This is sick, Florencio. Ah, oh, oh no. He's pulling out a screwdriver. What's he gonna do with that? Oh no, please don't, please don't. Oh god, oh god. I think he's gonna go for the eyeballs, guys. I think he's gonna go, oh god, this is, I mean, I talk about how you shouldn't play with your food. How about don't play with the corpse? The corpse of this Terran player, leave it alone. Leave it alone, Florencio. Oh, no. Oh, he's gouging his fucking eyes out. He's already dead. Leave him be. Somebody stop the show. What's happening? This is fucking gross, man. Oh, look. A few Vikings. He gets back up. He's like, ha ah, I'm not dead. No, wait. It was just a nervous reaction. Uh, he actually is dead. His body was just spasming a little bit. And, yeah, he's most certainly dead. Oh, Florencio. That was horrible. Oh. Oh, please, don't send me any more like that. That was disgusting. The start of that game was amazing, but oh, that took a turn for the worse very quickly. That was kind of gross, dude. Oh my god, I, I feel I feel pretty bad for that Terran player. That was, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Oh my god, I love, I love you, Florencio. Dude, I feel so bad. There's like that moment where you can see the player is trapped in this mind loop where they keep doing the worst possible thing over and over. That was that like factory engineering big wall off. He's like, I've got to stop him getting high ground vision. It's like, dude, you've got like six Marines in a bunker. Like it's fine. He's not going to get up there. And he's like, I got to keep walling off me one base in case the cannons decide to uproot and run into my main. I'm like, I don't think that's how cannons work, Gene Paul. And Gene Paul's like, Rrr. he's just rocking for back and forth in his chair. He's like, fuck this game, man. But uh, in the end, that's how it goes. GG's. GG's. Thanks, Lorenzo. Much love, dude. Um, 